supposed to work like magic, I come I have to be here to help it. <laughs> Baby, you alive? I'm sorry. I'm trying to make it easy for the undertaker to slip your socks on. Bell always have to ring right after you've had your feet waxed. That's so you won't sit around and get that yellow waxy build up. <laughs> but I'll get it since I'm facing that way. Thanks. Angie. Hi, Bill. I got over as fast as I could. <laughs> oh, that's nice, Angie. Why? Oh, I bet you think I've changed my mind. No, sweetheart, you can't change what you don't have. <laughs> I think I forgot to call to ask if I could borrow what I forgot to call for before I came over your house. Angie, read my lips. What do you want to borrow? Your big suitcase. Okay, my big suitcase. Why? Are you going home to visit your mama? I'm going on a Mexican cruise in a boat. Well, it beats the hell out of those train cruises. <laughs> Gee, now, why don't you come along? Oh, I wish I could, honey. But I'm a little short this month. Oh, as long as you have the money, they don't care how tall you are. <laughs> Angie, there's a dead bird stuck in the windmill of your mind. <laughs> what I was trying to say is that I'm busted, I'm broke, I don't have any money. Yes, I was that way too. Say friends name here until a fabulous opportunity came my way. Who are you talking to in there? <laughs> Look, say friend's name here I know is hard to believe, but you too can be continued on the next page. <laughs> and like me, earn over $1,500 in your spare time. Hey, can I get in on that too? I'm saving up for a new catcher's mitt. Oh, sweetheart, I got the film. This is only for adults. Is Angie an adult? Shh. <laughs> you go in the kitchen and check out those brownies I just baked, okay? Now, if you're trying to bribe me, it worked. <laughs> well, Angie, why don't you tell me exactly how you go about getting this $1,500? That's kind of hard to explain. No, it ain't. Just tell me what you do. I'm really not supposed to tell. Angie, does this require you standing on the street corner in hot pants? <laughs> Mr. Nichols says, oh, I wasn't supposed to tell his name or the fact that there's a lot of money involved. Wait, let me get this straight. You, Angie McDaniel, a girl who has to take off her blouse to count to two. <laughs> you make $1,500 in your spare time, legally. Look now, I've already told you more than I know. <laughs> if you want to get in on it too, you'll just have to come to the meeting we're having tonight. Tonight? And I wouldn't put it off. Remember, the early worm gets the bird. Yeah, that's right. 
and a rolling moss gets stoned. <laughs> Take it from me, it's the best investment you'll ever make for $250. Ooh, $250? No way, girl. Okay, I don't want to push you, but if you change your mind and decide you'd like to earn lots of extra money with practically no work at all, call me. I'll do that. Have a nice trip. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> the girl's crazy. <laughs> well, $1,500 of your spare time. <laughs> but no work at all. Angie! Angie! <laughs> <Wait> for me! <laughs> Place looks like Emerald City. <laughs> yeah, doesn't Mr. Nichols have great taste? <laughs> Who's his decorator? Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Angie! Oh, Angie, it's so nice to see you again. Oh, hi, Gail. I see you brought a friend with you. Yes, I did. <laughs> Nell Harper. Oh, you two know each other? <laughs> oh, we are so proud of Angie. She's just amazing. Yeah, she gets lots of calls from That's Incredible. <laughs> uh, uh, why don't you just sit down, please? Thank you. the nickels and I feel the magic. Do you feel the magic? I feel the magic. Uh, don't you feel the magic? I, I, I'm a slow feeler. I can relate to that. Let me put it to you this way. Who wants to get rich? I do. Who wants to drive a shiny new Mercedes? I do. Who wants to pay for everything with hundred dollar bills? I do. My friends, you can have it all with just three little words. Dig them up! <laughs> Amazing! Amazo back! Oh. Excuse me. You want us to hustle vacuum cleaners? <laughs> I see we have a doubter amongst us. <laughs> right. This is one sucker that ain't gonna sell that sucker to nobody. Come on. <laughs> Madam, wait. You see this suit? A maze Ovac bought it for me. Oh. You see this lovely home? A maze Ovac bought that too. Oh. You see Gail here? Hold this sucker. <laughs> he fell in love when he showed me his Omaze Ovac. Well, I guess it does pick up trash. <laughs> and it's a sin selling the maze Ovac, cuz, and this is the best part. You begin by selling to your friends and relations. Oh, please. I could never take money from my friends nor my family. Let me ask you a question. Uh, your friends ever give you money? Your friends ever pay your bills? They don't even pay their own bills. <laughs> when was the last time a relative took you on an expense pay vacation? Does a trip to Kmart count? <laughs> Remember the silver rule. Do unto others before they do it on you. This is crazy. Crazy? <laughs> this lady thinks it's crazy. Come here, my dear. How would you like to have beautiful jewelry? How would you like a full-length main coat? How would you like to have more money than you've ever had in your entire life? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Feel it now. Mm. Begin the tingle. Wait, one more time. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this isn't crazy. It's a formula for success. A little easy work plus amazing Mazovac equals 
the American dream. Zucchini. <laughs> Thanks. When I saw the dummy in the store window, I said, that's me. <laughs> Why don't you come in the kitchen and help me get the refreshments? Hello, Kalisa. <laughs> Angie. Psst, Angie, that's the doorbell. Oh, sorry. That's the door. <laughs> God, give me strength and please give her a break. <laughs> Hi, Nell. How are you? <laughs> Say, greens are good color for you. Makes you look real thin. No, I'm her friend Angie. Oh, right. You're the one with the leak in her think tank. <laughs> Where's Nell? She's in the kitchen getting the food. Oh, oh Nell. Hi, Grandpa. Am I late for the party? No, no, the crowd's not here yet. Did Grandma come with you? No, it's that time of the month. <laughs> Her bridge club meets today. <laughs> what are we celebrating? It's a surprise. That's the bell. I better see if someone's ringing it. <laughs> that girl's ready for the dim bulb hall of fame. Yeah, she kind of grows on you. Yeah, so does hair, but you gotta have a head to start it. <laughs> Why'd you put those chips in that bowl for me? Oh, you got a real big spread there. <laughs> God, I couldn't open this with my original teeth. Come on, hurry, Grandpa. They'll be here in a minute. Stuff is stronger than Grandma's girdle. <laughs> hurry up, Neil. They're all here. Oh, goody. Time to party. Want to dance? I think we'd better get the food first. Get nude first. That sounds like my kind of party. <laughs> I like my women tall. You get the good stuff at eye level. <laughs> He's cute. <laughs> you two stay here. I'm going to go mingle, all right? Samson! Oh, I'm so glad you could make it home. Oh, I'd never miss a party, Nell. I'm a real animal. <laughs> Where's the food? Oh, well, the dip will be out any minute. Hi. See, there she is. Did you lose something, Whoop. Mrs. Claw? <laughs> there I go again. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> well, it's liable to kill some humans, too. <laughs> Why don't you come up here and have some of my homemade punch? Oh, I'd love to. Yeah, try to keep your nose out of it. <laughs> Why, swear. Hammer, it is so nice of you to come. So nice of you to ask me. After four years. Oh, well, let's just let this be the beginning of a new friendship. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, Swag Hammer, you're a chip off the old buffalo. No, I really love these hors d'oeuvres, especially the meatballs. Well, we are what we eat. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Grandpa, thank you for your help. Here we go. Well, would anyone like something to eat? Oops, look. Oh, no. How are you ever going to clean up that mess? I'll help you. Down. <laughs> now, just luckily for me, I happen to have a mazo vac. Oh. oh, I loved you in Star Wars. <laughs> I'll 
always wanted to own one of those things. Well, I'm going to show you how you can have your very own for $99.98. Oh, Shizatsky, she's going to sell vacuum cleaners. Oh. Now, ordinarily, a mess like this would take weeks to clean up. But if you all gather around, please. I'm going to show you how to do this in a second. Well, now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, but now, your rug is still dirty. How'd you know what I was thinking? You see what a maze bag? It has a little switch here that it makes me able to just, I can shift it right into super socks. <laughs> Sleep on a pool table, or someone will shoot you into a corner pocket. <laughs> May I have my hair? Now, the lady who cleans my room brings her own. You got a maid? She's not a maid. She's my mother. <laughs> well, there goes my free cruise. Everybody left after two minutes. Oh, you're lucky. They usually walk out a lot sooner. <laughs> what did you just say? Oh, you're lucky. They usually walk out a lot sooner. <laughs> Angie, how do you sell these vacuum cleaners? I never sold one. Well, how do you get your money? I get $50 for every new person I bring to Mr. Nichols. <laughs> Angie, are you trying to tell me that I'm a bigger fool than you are? Gosh, no, Neil. You're shorter than I am. <laughs> Angie. I just want to know how I'm going to get my $250 back. Oh, that's easy. You just got to lay your hands on five new suckers like you. <laughs> I don't have to get five new suckers. I just have to lay my hands on one fat green slime. <laughs> If any of you have any further doubts that a maze or vac can make you wealthy, healthy, and happy, let's hear a few unsolicited testimonials. Who has felt the power? I have. I have. Why, just last week, I sold enough amazo vacs to put a new bathroom in my house. <laughs> Hallelujah! <laughs> You'll be sitting pretty. <laughs> Again, again, last week I made enough to buy a new organ. Yay! May your new transplant give you joy. I can do better than that. Wait, wait, I... I oh, yes. uh, well, uh, uh, a truly unsolicited testimonial. Uh, how much did you make? I made enough to get a trip around the world. Wonderful! Yay! And next week, 
she's going to make enough to come back. Congratulations. You are living proof that a Maisel vac is a wonderful appliance. Nope, it's a hunk of junk. Uh, uh, thank you. I hope you're finished. Oh, that's funny, Mr. Nichols. I was about to say the same thing to you. You see, I happen to be close friends with the chief of police. Uh, good. Uh -huh. Save that for the next meeting. Yes, yeah, so and we ran a check on you in Washington, D.C. We came up with some interesting things. Well, ridiculous. <laughs> what are you trying to pull? My name isn't even Nichols. We know everything. I can take action against you. You take one step towards me and you'll get a low five. <laughs> you can't make charges like that uh, without proof. You want proof? He wants proof and you bring up the proof. What proof? Just give me your pocketbook. Now, don't take that. Shut up, I'm on a roll. <laughs> in here, my information says you've been selling those Amazo backs in this. It wasn't well, city. Well, Seattle, but I... I yes, uh... and we all know what happened in Seattle, don't we? I was acquitted uh, of most of the charges. Hey, I bet uh, your wife would love to know. Well, wait you a are. minute. Nobody knows about Baltimore. The fuzz does. <laughs> Look, uh, honey, uh, how much would you like for that envelope? I can't sell this envelope. Not for $250. No, not for $250. How about $300? Sold. No, you can't do that. You can't. Wait, Doc. Listen, uh, the meeting is over. I'm sorry to tell you that because Mr. Nichols has to go on a Oh, uh, a short vacation. Thanks to Amazo back. Come, Gail. Bye-bye. <laughs> Neil. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say I wouldn't have gotten into all this trouble if I had not been so greedy to make a fast buck. But lucky for you, I have beauty and brains. But not when it comes to numbers. What you trying to say now? That envelope you just sold for $300? It had my $1,000 cruise ticket to Mexico in it. <laughs> but don't stand there, Angie. Kick me where it hurts. <laughs> I'll give it a shot. What is it? If A runs 10 miles an hour and B runs 15 miles an hour, how long will it take until B catches up with A? B will never catch up with A. <laughs> how come? Well, B's been trying to catch up with A ever since I was in school. And if it ain't caught it by now, it ain't going to catch up. <laughs> If there's Jack the Ripper, let him in. If it's Angie, double lock the door. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Hi, Neil. Away. I'm back. That's nice, Angie. I was Mexico. Muy terrifico. I see you picked up some Spanish. Yeah, and a couple of cute Mexicans, too. <laughs> Here, I brought some things back. Present for you, I brought a pina colada. <laughs> for Katie, macaroons. <laughs> and for Julie, an enchilada. <laughs> to it. They don't have x-ray machines in Tijuana. They hit it with a hammer. 